Megan Duffy, and joining us today is Chef Ivan from New Burger. Now, today is going to be a bit of an exciting day because we are celebrating Burger Week, mm -hmm. and he is going to show us how to make the Danny Tanner Burger, or what's it <laughs> called? <laughs> is that my close? It's uh, it's pretty close. You got uh, I don't even remember who Danny Tanner was on there. Danny Tanner, the dad. Oh, that's right, Bob Saget. Bob hey? Saget. No, we're going to the cooler, sexier, younger one. John oh. Stamos. Yeah. Okay, we're doing the John Samuels burger. So we're gonna start with the sauce. Yeah, the dressing actually is what I like to call it. Okay. Uh, on the cucumber slaw is what we're gonna do now. Okay, let's, let's get to it. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of fresh herbs here. So I got dill here. Got some fresh mint. dill. Got some mint. Yeah. Got some basil. What I'm gonna do is actually julienne it all. Okay. Until it is nice and fine so it could go smooth in a dressing. Okay, here we got some basil. Nice. Okay, get, do your chopping. Julienne, chop yes. Yeah. I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna let you do another one. I mean, you, I'll let you do the other oh, one. Oh, you can just chop it. Oh, come on, it'd be fun. Last time I chopped with Ivan, he made fun of me the whole time, so. <laughs> you, 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 know, you do so well, why do you need me to do it? Because it's so much fun watching other people do it. Okay, so, so, we have, so we have some basil. Look how finely chopped that is. Yes, nice and thin, as thin as you can. Dill is next. Got it. Again, as thin as we can. Okay, now we have our mint. Alrighty. Mix it all up. Next one I'm gonna do is the lemon juice. Okay, so next I'm just gonna add a few seasonings and a little bit of sugar. Okay, so, so we got pepper. Some pepper. Salt, not too much, and then a little bit of sugar. What's next is gonna be the olive oil and the cider vinegar. The only thing we have to add is the mayonnaise? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Cup-ish. All right, so I'm gonna stir it up with this guy here. Okay, so we have our Stamos dressing. Yes. And what are we gonna do next for this Stamos burger? Well, the dressing goes on the cucumber and onion slaw. So okay. I'm gonna chop up that stuff. Okay, I'll show you, you how, how you I chop do it. it up. I can't really do this one very fast, but I'll try my hardest. Don't cut your fingers off. On TV? Why not, right? Throw them in. Throw them and in this so guy. the Stamos dressing is going to go on the cucumber. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, not just the cucumber, though. I'm also gonna put it with some red onion. Really quickly, I've seen that guy. So before, time. before, like I said last time, it's a loose dressing. Right. So when I put that in there, I want to put it right on the burger, so I'm not going to dress it up yet. Let's get the burger down first. Okay, here you go. Cool. Okay, so we have the buns grilling. Yeah, I want to get them nice and toasty. It makes for a nice crisp on the outside. Everybody knows a toasted bun is better for a burger. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some uh, what we call a roasted red pepper and basil aioli. So we start off by making a roasted red pepper pesto. With basil and With basil. aioli. Pretty much, and other stuff that I'm not gonna mention. A little bit of, as you can guess, it's a Greek burger. What would you think, what kind of cheese? Feta. Boom, easy, and grab these guys. Ah, oh, it's a nice final flip. And then just before I place them over here, let's get the stainless dressing into the cucumber slaw. Okay. Cool. This I am anxiously... It's the one we've been waiting for. Yeah, I mean, it's... We'll see how it tastes on this burger. It smells awesome. Okay. So you're not shy on the dressing? Not shy on it. A lot of it no. is going to fall off. I want to make sure that a lot of it will stay on. Look what I found. Here. Just help you so a little bit. Yeah. You go like this? Okay. Before I toss that thing up, sprouts on the top here. Which I just found out today, they carry a lot of vitamins. Just kidding, I knew that. Sprouts are great. I used to have sprouts as a kid all the time. I haven't had them in a few months on my sandwiches, but... And probably never on a burger, right? Never on a burger. Okay. Never on a burger. Okay. Beef patty. Okay, let's finish this thing off with yep. the signature new burger pick. Juicy, I can see that. That's perfect. So just like that. I hope you're ready to try this thing out with me. Okay, there we have it. The John Stamos burger. You ready? Yes, I am. Okay. It's my first time. Cheers, mate. We got to cheers this Okay. Time. Good luck. I wish you all the best in this competition. I'll see you on the other side. Oh. This is going to win. This is totally gonna win. Oh. This is unreal. Mmm. I'll race you. Nope. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god. That is amazing. Is it? That by far is the best burger I've had. By far. Yes. More great burgers coming up here on Megan's menu with Ivan. Up next, we're making the... Shang Awesome. Hope you guys are ready. That's last year or the first year's Burger Week winner. Stick around, the Shang Awesome coming up after this. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Hypnotic is one of Winnipeg's best salons since 2008. From hair to nails and even massages, Hypnotic is where you go to relax. Come and visit us at 1600 Kennison Boulevard. Book an appointment online today. Hi, it's Sheila Bennett from Kitchen Sink, your place to create. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Uh, everything, they find like the perfect combination of things. Like everything complements each other, so thanks. Like, they're really good at doing that. A little bit different than your usual, you know, mustard and relish burger. Welcome back to Megan's menu. Joining us here is Ivan from New Burger. Now we've made the burger number one, which won Burger Week. So now we're gonna make burger number two, which is called the Shanghai. The Shang Awesome. Shang Awesome. Yeah. Ah, no, close. that's fine. The Shang Awesome. Okay. The thing is that we do have a burger at New Burger called the Shanghai. It's kind of a play off of that, and you'll see why. Um, what's cool about this one too is that when Burger Week first came to, to Winnipeg, this is the one that took the crown the first year. So this is a winning burger? This is another winning burger, yeah. Okay, let's get to it. Um, this one is a very quick one, so I'm going to start by putting the beef on. Let's do right it. Away. Again, we have our tasty McCreary beef, right? McCreary, Angus, lean. Here's the Shang Awesome. So what do we have over here? The ingredients for the Asian slaw. As okay. you can see, they're all julienne, all ready to go. Yes, they here, look fabulous. I don't know if you could tell what these veggies are. But I'll just list them I'm off to you. I'm pretty anyway. sure I could guess, but for everyone at home, yes, uh, you can get all of these at your local supermarket. Okay, so I got snap peas. I'll just pop them in. Snap peas right here. Julian, no. carrots. Julianne again. Red peppers. No yellow peppers and green peppers don't work. Right. Red onion. No white onions don't work either. Bean sprouts. And now we have this nice mix that we call the Asian slaw. Okay, so here we have something called a ginger vinaigrette, which is pretty easy to know what is in there. Ginger, vinegar, and other things I'm not going to tell you. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Just put it all uh, on. There we go. That's good, that's okay. good. And this is uh, the last one in here to give it a little bit of creaminess. This is called chili mayo. Okay, let's give these guys a flip now that you see that the, the juices are starting to come out from the from the inside. So good. we got mushrooms going on over here. Yeah. This is one of the things that make the Shang awesome, the Shang awesome. The difference between this and the Shanghai. They're called hot damn mushrooms. This right here is called a sweet curry. And then a little bit of sriracha. 
Oh, That's what man. puts in a nice kick. These are gonna That's be, what this makes is it gonna delicious. Be spicy. Ooh. So I'm gonna put again this chili mayo that we put in the slaw earlier. Yep, yeah, you're gonna put it on there. Just a little bit more on the bottom and top. Let's get that. Okay, and on the bottom, awesome. we're gonna use goat cheese. Okay, let's mix up this Asian slaw that I made earlier just to get it all homogenous. We're good to go. Over here, mushroom? this yeah. is where we put the mushrooms on top of the beef patty. Ooh. Oh yeah. Last but not least, the Asian slaw, the biggest part of this burger. <laughs> that is a mile high hamburger. Yes, it is. What do you serve the, um, this burger with? This one, what I would recommend eating it with, would be our, our famous yam fries. And I'll put this guy right over here. And you have your fancy dipping sauce with yes. your yam fries. This dipping sauce, just to, to show you guys actually, works well on a burger or on, on a dip. This one is actually the, the roasted red pepper and basil aioli that we put on the Stamos, uh, John Stamos burger earlier. Having it as a dip for your fries, I wouldn't say even better, but just as good. Mm -hmm. Really good, uh -huh. really good. Ready? Yep. We're cheersing every single time. Oh. Oh. Look at all those layers. See the creaminess of the look goat at, cheese? Look at the juice. Mm -hmm. My slaw is falling out. This is gonna be messy. Oh man, if it's not messy, it's not worth your time, oh right? A clean burger tastes like <sighs> mustard. Hey, here we go, man. Mm. Hitting you? It's all over my face. I can feel it. It's not that spicy, no. but it's really delicious. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love the slaw. Slaw is a big one too, and later mm. on I'll show you that we can actually use it as a side dish too. If anybody wants to just eat the slaw on the side, works well too. I can feel it on my face. That's okay. But the juice of this, and I'm not gonna lie, when I saw you putting some goat cheese down, I was a bit apprehensive, but it works. It works. <clears throat> Ladies, what do you think of the burger? Good. That is amazing. It's not. It's not overly spicy. The goat, goat cheese? cheese is wonderful. Oh, those mushrooms are the best. Mm. Damn good mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Damn good hot mushrooms. Up next here on Megan's menu, Ivan will be with us making his famous... Drunken Aussie. Drunken Aussie. Stay tuned, we're coming up right after this. Drunken. Thanks for joining us here on Megan's Menu. Again, we have Ivan from New Burger. Okay, quickly, you guys are opening a new location. Yeah, November 1st is the goal, um, and it's gonna be in the corner of uh, Kennison and the Goat. That's my hood. Yes. So I'll come and visit. I'm excited. I'm, I'll come and visit. I'll but see you there, I'll if, see you all there. If you don't go to that one, you can go to his Osborne location. Yeah, that one, that one is, uh, what, what do we call it, the flagship? The location? flagship. Yeah. The original. The original. Yeah. So we are making the Drunken Aussie. Yes, um, I'm gonna start off over here because we already have the beef going. Got it. Put a so little bit of olive oil first in the pan. And so what I'm gonna be putting in here is... Some eggs? Some eggs. So each burger gets its own egg? Yes, it does. Okay, you got some bacon? Regular bacon is totally fine. It'll work great with this stuff, but if you come to New Burger, you'll get this special bacon. You wanna give this one a taste and tell me how it tastes? Pineapple. Ripe and delicious. Ripe and delicious. If you guys are gonna be using canned at home, that's fine. I would always recommend using bread. Um, because, well, canned is good because it, it usually, it tastes sweet right away, right? It's sitting in the can, it tastes sweet all the time. Well, and it's easy and ready to go. And easy and ready to go. And not all of us are expert pineapple cutters like you. Grilled pineapple. Huge piece that of That is a nice color. Okay, mm. these eggs are looking perfect. Do you yes. want them runny for the burger? Yes, I do. I, I will. Myself, I do like them. I do like them uh, sunny side up. I don't know how you like them, but that's how I'm gonna do it. I really? like my eggs poached, soft, but these are perfect because I I like runny eggs for my toast to dip. Perfect. Sounds great. So I, I put the pineapples on here now. Even though the burger isn't fully ready yet, 
I get it ready to put on uh, some of our local bold cheddar. Can you put it on there for me? You betcha. So right over the pineapple? Right over the pineapple. Okay. Do you use local bacon? Yes, we do. Local bacon, same place that we get our beef from. Okay, McCreary, Manitoba. Okay, so on the, on the top of this burger, yeah. we're gonna put some of our herb mayo. It's very signature to New Burger. Take some of this stuff, put it on the top. First one, we're gonna put lettuce on too because the crunch is always really good. And you gotta get your greens in. You gotta get your greens, you gotta get all that stuff. Beets on the bottom, these are pickled beets that we have. It's, a, it's in a balsamic vinegar and salt, pepper, boiled beets actually. We've sliced them and let them sit for at least a day or two. I'm gonna put some of this bacon on here. Don't be shy with that bacon, buddy. Never be shy with bacon. Ooh, this is looking good. I'm excited. That looks good. That cheese is perfect as well. I think so too. The oils are starting to come out of the cheese. It's starting to just fall and mold around the burger. So finishing this burger off with a delicious sunny side up egg. I don't think you can cut this burger in half, really. Oh, you can. It'll just be messy. And from your past experiences, New Burger burgers are a little bit messy. They require commitment, as I have said before. In the past, you always need to commit to the burger. Don't put it down. Plus, this burger has such awesome flavors, you don't want to put it down. Well, that looks let's, interesting. Let's cut this burger in half. Let's do it. And... Gotta commit, gotta oh, commit. Oh, do it. Oh. Oh, There yeah. it goes, there it goes. Look at those layers oh, on that guy right there. Oh, yeah. Perfect, you ready to do this with me? Yeah. Look at these colors. Ivan, you're blowing my mind. Okay, this is a double hander. I gotta squish, squish it down a little bit. Cheers, man. cheers. Man. Okay, cheers. Good luck. Good luck to you. Oh. Okay. The egg is working mm -hmm. with the melted cheese. Bacon's outstanding. Mm -hmm. Pineapple's interesting. Nice sweet in there. Beets are interesting, but it works. Yeah, it not only works, it blows my mind. Did it win one of the Burger Weeks? No, this one is not a Burger Week winner, but it is a staple burger at New Burger. Mm. And I'll never leave. This one is a winner of many hearts. This is delicious. I think my favorite thing, other than the bacon, is the herb mayo. Mm -hmm. It's sharp. It's nice. Ladies, how do you like the burger? The flavors are amazing together. Mm, the pineapple is mm. I love it, grilled cheese. It gives you just that little bit of sweetness at the at the, at the end there. And that egg, I would never have, I mean, I was kind of wondering when he was putting the egg on there, but wow, that what a taste. Up next, we are making the... This one is one of my personal favorites, the luchador. The luchador? Yep. Awesome. Okay, luchador, coming up. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Hypnotic is one of Winnipeg's best salons since 2008. From hair to nails and even massages, Hypnotic is where you go to relax. Come and visit us at 1600 Kennison Boulevard. Book an appointment online today.
Hi, it's Sheila Bennett from Kitchen Sink, your place to create. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Uh, amazing burgers. So many different types of burgers with like all these different things that you would never expect to get on them that taste really good that you wouldn't expect. Good place, friendly staff. And I'll be back for sure <laughs> soon. We are back with New Burger, and we're not making a burger, we're making a chicken burger. Yes. Both of them are really considered burgers. Chicken, beef, we use a grilled uh, chicken breast, which is a, a local free-run chicken, actually. We brine it for a couple days, and then cut the breast in half, kind of like a butterfly, and then uh, grill it up on our barbecue, and that's how, that's how we make our chicken burger. Okay, so what is this burger called again? This one's called the Luchador. It's Spanish for the wrestler. It's, uh, it's got a lot of Latin flavors in here that I'll show you when we get into it. But, uh, and like I said earlier too, this is one of my favorites for sure. Is it because you're Latin? Uh, I think it is probably because of my Latin roots. Maybe that's why I like it the, the best. Avocado, I, I could eat that like an apple. Avocados are amazing. You I'm would. Sure you guys like too. Um, there's a corn salsa, feta, cilantro. Let's get into it actually. Yeah, let's I'll show do you it. how it's done. Let's do it. Okay. So I already had the chicken cooking up. Um, if you guys don't know how to cook chicken at home, Figure it out because you don't want to get anybody sick. Yeah, figure it out. Figure it out. Um, white throughout. It's okay if you cook it a little bit too much. Just make sure that it's fully cooked. Okay, so we have our chicken breast. That looks awesome. Nice. It's pretty much good to go. Bottom part. Let's start off with this corn salsa. Again with the feta. No Latino eats food without feta. You can have some breakfast, supper, doesn't matter what you're having. There's a little hunk of feta on the corner. Another one that my dad eats like lettuce on his food is cilantro. I remember growing up on our on our um, sandwiches, he wouldn't put lettuce on our sandwiches. He would put a bunch of cilantro. And a we lot made of, it like that. A lot of people don't like the cilantro. I love cilantro. I, Not that much. I but love cilantro too. Yeah. But a lot of people don't like it. Chipotle aioli, very, very Latin. Now my favorite ingredient. Mine too, avocado. Avocado right on the top. Okay, let's get this chicken off. Do it. Blue Four dog's five. good. Ooh. Just like that. Let's finish this guy off with that same lettuce we put on the drunken Aussie. Tomato. Those are nice big tomatoes. Oh, nice and delicious. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. I'm really excited about this chipotle aioli. I'm excited about the avocado. I'm excited about the burger. Okay, so the layers on this one here. All those colors in there, I love it. I'm getting so that is a, That is a colorful burger. That's like a rainbow. You ready to do this? Yeah. Cheers me. I'm getting pretty full here. Down the hatch. Mm. This is outstanding. The avocado is really creamy. The chicken is fresh. I love that corn salsa. Mm. Okay, what are you putting, what is this here? I wanted to include two other sides on this guy here. Earlier on we had the Shang Awesome. The Asian slaw is awesome over here. If you have it just as a side, we put mm -hmm. some candied almonds on there, give it a little crunch as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here are potato fries, which we also serve there. Most places use russet, we use Kennebec. And this right here is a play of the Chipotle. Mm -hmm. We call it sweet Chipotle. But it's not as spicy. Not as spicy. This is spicy, uh -huh. but delicious. Yeah. Mm. Oh. That's there is favorite. a little bit of a kick to it. That's my favorite combination of flavors. Mm. Wow, that is the right amount of spice on this. You want to see Ivan? Where can they find you? Uh, New Burger. Which one? Osborne Village. Stradbrook, right next to Happy Cooker. I'll be there cooking probably ev yeah, every day. Every day. All these recipes will be on our website. Don't forget to tune in next time here on Megan's Menu. Thank you, New Burger.
couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Hypnotic is one of Winnipeg's best salons since 2008. From hair to nails and even massages, Hypnotic is where you go to relax. Come and visit us at 1600 Kennison Boulevard. Book an appointment online today. Sheila Bennett from Kitchen Sink, your place to create. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Dance floor, dance floor. 